In this video from Sharp Help, we're taking a look at your end of day Z1 resetting report on the XEA207 register. So to take the report, it's mode and then line 4 and then TLNS. So we're in the X1Z1 mode. The only difference between X and Z is that X is reading only and Z is read and reset. So an X report looks exactly the same as a Z report, but it just hasn't set the data. So if you're doing your end of day report, then you need to make sure you choose resetting. So this is an example of an X report that I take at a different time or took earlier, and a Z report that I took earlier as well. So the reports look identical, so the danger that can happen when you're doing your end of day is that you run an X report, print it out, think nothing of it because it's correct, and then the problem that occurs is that whoever does the report the next day then has two lots of data for the one day's transaction because the report hasn't reset. So arrow down to resetting, TLNS, and then TLNS on general, because general is your standard overall report which will tell you how much money you've taken, um, break it down by department and the different cash in your amounts and what you've taken by credit card. So this report is a daily report only because we took a report yesterday. So that's another key thing to remember is that the Z1 daily report is only a daily report because we did it yesterday. If you ran, kept running transactions through the till over a period of time and never took a resetting report, or you then took a resetting report, it would be for that period of time. But most businesses would do an end of day uh, Z1 resetting report because you need to reconcile what's in the drawer. Once the report's taken, you then need to press escape cancel a couple of times to return back to the main total screen. I hope that's cleared things up. The reports can get confusing. I've got other videos which will probably appear on screen now which you're welcome to watch that explain how the periodic reporting works, how the X reporting works on this machine. Um, you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.